My name is Isam Kurber. I am Cambridge-based, Syrian-born visual artist, and I come from fine art, architecture, and theater design background. And currently, I work with uh, issues relating to Syria. In recent years, I started working with a poet called Ruth Badel, and this particular piece in the exhibition is actually part of a collaboration with her, where she could read her poetry and I make my own. So these are driven, if you like, of poetic impulses. It is very painful to see it from distance, but they, they provide a very rich canvas for getting inspiration from. I don't believe in wars, and I don't believe in killings, and I don't believe in fighting in this way. There is so much news about refugees, and there is so much news that is actually the, the British government want to deport them elsewhere. And I found that is very unacceptable, because how could somebody really struggle all the way to arrive to this part of the world and somebody send them elsewhere? The whole piece was actually inspired by an artifact I found in the Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge from Syria, and it has three goddesses. So 3,000 years ago, Syria used to send to the Mediterranean uh, these goddesses. So my first reaction to it was, actually, I really would like to contrast these small boats from the Fitzwilliam Museum with, with the matches. The matches, they are because they are burnt, they refer to the trauma. So they are the trauma of the people of the boat. And that trauma, it, if you read them about Syria, they could be Syrian, but they could be anybody. I mean, any migrant, forced migrant, to come to any place, you could see they carry their trauma with them. So the burnt matches, but they are not totally burnt. They are partially burnt. So, they are together, they are driven by this hope to go somewhere else. So there is, there is this kind of, the material of the boat is from mud guards, the matches, and then there is a resin, looks like water inside the boat, where people are very huddled together, supporting each other in the time of difficulties. I started with lead because the original one was with lead, but actually I made them from bicycle mud guards. Mud guard to guard from the mud, but boats supposed to guard you from the mud underneath the sea. But actually many of these refugees, sadly, were drawn. When you are traveling by boat, you are sacrificing everything just to cross. So there is that fragility that needs to come across in the piece. And the idea of the impermanency, it could become a very important tool because we are not anymore interested in building pyramids and building empires. We are actually, we recognize how fragile we are as a human. <laughs>